We're in Walhalla, which is an old gold mining town in Victoria. Uh, it was founded in 1862 after some guys found, uh, well, after a guy found some gold in the river. So they first started um, panning the river and they exhausted that really, really quickly. So they came back and they started to try and find the source of the gold in the mountains. Um, so they did, dug a few shafts and it took them, it took them eight years, I think, to actually find the source of the gold. But it was incredibly profitable. At the peak, this town had 4,000 residents um, and it is tiny. It's just a valley and there'd be maximum of 100 meters, oh, probably maximum of about 80 meters across at the widest point. And it's, yeah, it's very short, the area you could live, so yeah, it must have been absolutely heavy. I think there was 14 hotels, something like that, 40 shops. Um, yeah, I don't know how so many people lived here. It must have been pretty appalling. But yeah, this, there's only a few of the buildings left. I think most of them are reconstructions. Most of them have either flooded, burnt down, or um, been washed out by floods. But yeah, it looks original, it's completely, does not look Australian at all. The river looks very, how much you imagine a Californian gold town to look almost like Deadwood kind of thing. Um, and all the buildings are just beautiful old wooden things in this really tight, narrow valley. Well, well worth a visit if you're ever nearby. So the dogs were a bit terrified on the train. So they stopped at the station and get 20 minutes here. And they basically dragged us away from the train to come swim in the river. Well, that was interesting. Um, I didn't actually manage to film a single thing coming down on the train because Snowy was absolutely crapping himself the entire way and trying to jump basically out of the train. We we're just trying to get away from me, which is in threat of everyone else. So I had to um, hold him down the whole time and like really pin him essentially the whole time. He was terrified. Cinder was on mum's lap and she was managing to hold her with a lot of effort. So could not get the camera at all. But I'm just going to walk back. The kids and grandma and mum are catching the train back. But yeah, I just... Um, I have to walk because it was, yeah, they're not going on that car on that again. So, hopefully it's not too far. I think it's a couple of k's, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's just a narrow winding road is all I'm concerned about. But this is that narrow winding road. Yeah, it's pretty sketch to walk on. I thought there was supposed to be a path here, but I don't know where it is. Oh, well, should be good. I think I've found the tramline track. Um, there's supposed to be a track between here and Walhalla, but there's no signs or anything. But this, if I look on Strava heat maps, this looks like it has a track up the top of it to Walhalla. So we'll see how we go. It's a very steep hill. But yeah, it's pretty and it's cool as well on that sketchy road. Status update. This hill is long and it is steep. Yeah, I climbing. Yeah, it'd be like. I'd say 25%, if not a bit more. It's crazy steep, and I think I've been going a while. I'm only halfway up it. So, hope it's the right way, otherwise it's a bit of a stitch up. But that's all good, I'll see what happens.
just saw someone and confirmed that, yep, this is it, and I've just literally hit the track now. So, like 4Ks or 4.5Ks or something like that. But Snowy's leg's a bit tender, so we'll take it nice and slow. But it looks like it's going to be dealt with the tramway. So it should be pretty much dead flat the whole way. Nice wide open. Check this out. I'll flip it around. What are we going to see behind me? Yeah, it looks lovely. Looks real, real nice. Deep, beautiful ferns. I hope the colour comes out because it's just a lot richer. Beautiful. The other one's southern, it's all wet and moist, and yeah, this side coming into a bit more sunshine. This completely changes all the foliage and everything. Beautiful, but it is getting steep down there. Look, it is a dead sheer drop off the edge of that. Crazy. Building this would have been fun. Went to put my sunnies on, discovered that they are long gone. I don't know when I had them last, anywhere in the last couple of k's, but I can't walk back because Snowy won't make it there and back. I think he's going to struggle at the best on this just because of the heat and his legs a bit stuffed. And it's only a little bit of water, but yeah, another pair of sunnies consigned to a holiday. Well, probably about two thirds of the way back, for an inexplicable reason, the track has just suddenly become completely overgrown. No idea how or why. It was a wide, I don't know, two metre wide track. And now it's like barely a path. What's going on? And it just stopped. Yeah, like a turnaround point or anything. Just, yeah, condensely overgrown. The closer we get, I just lost my hat. The closer we get to town, the more overgrown this gets. I don't understand. Like, surely the closer we get to town, the more used it should get. I'm absolutely baffled about this track. What's going on with it? Finally opened it back up. Finally opened back up a little bit, but it's still quite overgrown. Um, we've already gone past the town, the the park and the station and stuff, so we're up into pretty much into where town is, and it's still overgrown. So, oh, people just don't use it, or it just doesn't get maintained, or bizarre. Right up into town, pretty much on the track. Finally found the first gold mine. All collapsed at the entrance, but uh, yeah, first one. Cool. Look at this. We finally found them. The bludgers. Puppies are a bit hot. Good 
job, puppies. No, Is that fun? In the no. Nice walk. Definitely earned to swim at the end, even if it is pretty steep. So Damo and the dogs have just walked back up the tramway track trail from the bridge um, up to town. It's about five k's, five and a half k's. And the dogs are just having a swim now because they are uh, pooped. Uh, but Damo said you can kind of see as you're walking along the track, you can see this whole hill face and you can see it here too. The whole thing is just spill from the, or spoil, whatever you call it. How do we get in? How do we get in? It's all in? spoil from the uh, mines. So you can kind of see that it's all just been discarded rock stuff. coming along and giving a good old hit and when I hit it you've got to give the tap a turn so a bit of a quarter turn they usually do but every time I hit the back you've got to turn it you'd be feeling that whole force of me because I'd be really swinging to hit that and I'd have to make sure I had a good aim because every time I wouldn't want to hit your hand because if I hit your hand there goes your job you are going to come and work today if we hurt our hands it's the biggest compo you know our hands our hands do everything Yeah. That mine shut in 1911, they took their street lights and well, I didn't get carried here until 1996. So there's a lot here. So where that, where that ladder is, they would have had someone like you to go up there, they would have had a great big toy system, like great big wheels with ropes on them. Or, um, Mum, oh, here's, here's my hat. I'll, put, I'll just put it with Dad's hat. Oh, Thank you. 